I came across the real meaning of New Year's resolution. At alam ko na for 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 the, for quite some time, iba sa atin parang nababag down tayo New Year's resolution, parang hindi na siya ganun ka, ka kabago sa atin. Pero let me correct our mindset about New Year's resolution para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng guilt feeling. Tama? Kasi may mga New Year's resolution tayo na parang hindi nangyayari. Para mawala ang guilt feeling natin, dalawa magkaibigan nag-uusap. Sabi nung isa, what exactly is a New Year's resolution? It's a to-do list for the first week of January. <laughs> so wag na po kayo magkaroon ng guilt feeling kung the second week of January, wala na. Okay? But kidding aside, nakaka-relate tayo dito. Ang dami nating mga, fit, mga fitness goals. Yan. Diet goals. Financial goals, love life goals, spiritual disciplines goals. Yung mga spiritual disciplines goals. No, every day I'm going to read my Bible. Ah, tapos talagang ginagawa, no? Pero kalaunan, medyo minsan parang nagiging consistently once a week, once a month, once every two months, yung mga ganun. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want those uh, goals na, magandang mga goals sa buhay natin na mag-fizzle out siya. Ayaw nating mangyari din to na every year na lang, pinapalit-palitan natin. Di ba? Lose weight yung umpisa. Lose more weight. Lose weight again. Get fit. Next year na. Ayaw natin ng ganun. Kasi sa buhay natin, kailangan masustain natin ang mga magagandang Bagay, yung New Year's Resolution, maganda yan, isustain natin yan. May mga bagay tayo sa buhay natin na kailangan. Talagang binasa nyo. Ah. <laughs> Pati sa buhay kristyano natin. But the key is this, we need to what? Stay the course, ika nga. We need to finish strong. The Christian life, our life as a follower of Jesus, our lives as a uh, Disciples of Jesus. In the Bible, makikita mo, kinukumpara siya sa isang runner. That we are in a race. It's like we are in a race. And even yung buhay natin, kahit hindi ka krisyano, alam natin, it's a journey, it's a race. But the question that we need to answer is this, are we on the right race? Tama ba ang journey natin na tahak natin? Are we on the right course? Sabi natin, stay the course, which means to sustain, to be consistent, to, to go all the way. And then, if we answer these two questions already, ito yung susunod na kailang sagutin natin sa buhay natin. How do we stay the course and finish strong? How do we stay the course? There are so many struggles. How do we stay the course? Last, last year, may mga bagay tayong kailangang iwan natin. May mga goals tayo na, na gusto natin last year na hindi nangyari na. This year, gusto nating ipagpatuloy yung mga goals na yun. Diba kung last year, mga estudyante dito, last year, namatay yung grade mo. Huwag mo nang hintayin April, Pasko ng pagkabuhay. Ngayon pa lang, buhayin mo na yung grade mo. Ngayon pa lang. Bukas, may pasok na, tama? O oh, malungkot yung mga itsura ng mga estudyante rito? Dapat excited tayo. Alam kong mahirap. Madali ko lang sabihin kasi hindi na ako nag-aaral. Nung time nyo, malamang ganun din ako. But we have to, there are things in our lives na alam natin magaganda, maayos, na pinapagawa sa atin ng Panginoon. And how do we sustain that? Some, for some of us, hindi natin alam, are we on the right race? Are we on the right course? Titingnan natin ngayon in Hebrews chapter 12, verse, verses 1 and 2, what the Bible has to say about this. If you have your Bibles with you, please open it. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Let me read that. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Lord, we thank you that Jesus, your Son, our Savior, endured, persevered, finished the race that you sent him to do. 
And we ask that because of his example and because of the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit in us, we will also finish strong. We will stay the course. And not only that, we will see others finish strong and stay the course. In Jesus' name, amen. Paul said, chapter 12, verse 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. This is the starting point. At kung meron mang tayong hindi lamang 2019, buong buhay natin, isipin natin, eto yun. Fix your eyes on Jesus. I'm reading from the NIV. A while ago, I read from uh, the ESV. Sabi dun sa, sa, sa ESV, looking to Jesus, fixing your eyes on Jesus. Ano ibig sabihin? Pag fix ka ng eyes mo kay Jesus, ibig sabihin na ang pinaka-price sa buhay mo, pinaka-ultimate good sa buhay mo ay ang Panginoong Jesus. Ang example dito ni, ni, ni Paul, he's like, he likens us to a runner. Nung time na yun, pag, may mga, pag tumatakbo sila, nasa race sila, sa dulo, merong si, nakikita nila kung ano yung price nila. Sa dulo. Ngayon kasi hindi, di ba? Wala, sa dulo naman ngayon, walang medalyang nakaganon. Sa kanila dati, nakikita mo yung risk, nakikita mo yung price. So sila, yung mga runners, they're fixing their eyes on the price. Yun yung focus nila. Now, whatever happens when, when they hear that start or what, what have, ko ano man ginagamit nila dati, pag, pag takbo nila, hindi na sila tumitingin sa kung kanina, hindi tumitingin, tumitingin lang sila doon sa price. And that's what Paul is saying. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the price. Jesus is the goal. Jesus is the ultimate good. Jesus is the greatest thing, person, in your life. Yan ang sinasabi ni, ni Paul. Fixing your eyes on Jesus. And he says this in another letter in Corinthians. Kung anong ibig niyang sabi, another thing that he said it is, we make it our goal to please Him. Siya ang bida. Wala nang idol, walang American idol, Pinoy idol, si Jesus lang. We make it our goal. Another word for goal is aim. But the real uh, meaning of that word in, in, the, in the Greek is ambition. May mga ambition ba tayo sa buhay? Sana naman meron. Di ba? Iba sa atin, ambition lang natin maging kapwa. Pero sana may ambition tayo. At alam ko, yung natin, ambition natin maging doktor, maging engineer, teacher, driver, conductor, um, ano, electrician, architect, architect, uh, you, na Walang problema sa ambisyon. Dapat talaga may ambisyon tayo. Okay lang yan. Kung yung anak nyo walang ambisyon, i-ano nyo, i-encourage nyo, hindi anak, magka-ambisyon ka. Get, you know, have a goal in life. Pero sana mga ambisyon na yun, nakapaloob yun sa pinakamatinding ambisyon natin. To please God. Na, yes, magiging doktor ako. But the reason why I want to be a doctor is because ultimately I want to please God. Yes, magiging businessman ako, pero ultimately because I want to please God. Yes, ang isa sa ambition ko magkaasawa, pero ultimately the reason why gusto ko magkaasawa is because I understand that marriage is for the glory of God. Yun yung sinasabi ni Paul sa atin. When we have this in mind, when we understand this, then we are now on the right race. And we can stay on the right course that God has prepared for us on the right race. Therefore, Paul said, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. There is a race marked out for us. That God has marked it out for us. Hindi tayo yung nagde-decide kung ano yun. Siya ang nagde-decide nun. And that, that race is what? To please Him. And minsan, ito yung nangyayari. Excited tayo for 2019, but ano ang goals natin? Mang, ang mga goals natin, minsan mat, mat, tama. Makagraduate ako. Sana makagraduate na ako. Yung mga ganun. Da, diba? Sana magka-love life na ako. Yes, okay naman yun. Why not? I mean, Bago naman ako nagkaroon ng kasa, bago naman kami kinasal ng asawa ko, nagka-love life din naman kami. Hindi ko lang naman siya kinindutan at pakasal na tayo. <laughs> Hindi naman ganun, nagka-love life muna kami. Hanggang ngayon, may love life pa rin kami. Hanggang ngayon, siya pa rin ang love ng life ko. <laughs> Di ba? Ano yung mga goals natin? Lord, uh, 
Sana ma-resurrect yung grades ko, sana maging maayos yung business ko, sana magkatrabaho na ako, that's great. Sana maka-move on na ako, yung iba sa atin. We need that. Natapos na to, 2018, iniwang ka, iniwan mo siya, move on na ang problema sa Pilipinas, ang pag-move on parang EDSA, ang hirap. <laughs> Di ba? Pero minsan, may mga goals tayo sa buhay na on on the surface, parang ang ganda. Lord, magka-debt-free na ako. Sino yung gustong magka-debt-free na? Yung mawala na yung utang mo. Wala? Yes, di ba? Pero minsan, Lord, sana magka-debt-free na ako, mamatay na sana yung pinagkautangan ko. <laughs> Lord, pinagpipray naming dalawa. No, magkaroon na kami ng... Success, blessings, joyful, maging happy na kami sa aming pagsasama. Okay rin yung, yung prayer na yun. Kaya lang, surface yun. Pag tinin mo sa ilalim, parang ay sandali lang, matagal na kayo naglilive in. Incidentally, there are a lot of people in, in victory na naglilive in dati. And then they realize, yung love story pala nila sa isa't isa, gusto nilang ipailalim sa love story ni God para sa kanila. Nagpakasal na siya. Ang dami na po. Do not let finances hinder you. Magagawan po natin ang paraan yan. Kung kailangan nyo po ng finances, kausapin nyo po si Ray. No? <laughs> okay, si Ray. Okay? But don't let it. Marami na po nangyari na ganun. Na-realize nila, we love each other, pero ang ginagawa natin does not please God. So let's put our love story under God's love story. Marami na pong nangyari. Praise God. Bakit ko sinasabi to? Ang mga goals ba natin aligned? Is it the race that God has marked out for us? Or are we trying to mark out the race for ourselves? Yung iba po sa atin magjo-join sa prayer and fasting. And in prayer and fasting, we put ourselves in a position to hear from God and realize eto ang gusto ni God sa buhay natin. Eto yung goals ko ngayon. Now, some of us, we go to prayer and fasting, may mga goals na tayo, that's fine. Pero sana, hindi nakaset in stone ang goals na yun. Kasi maaaring sabihin sa'yo ni, ni God, anak. You know, minsan, pray natin, God, you know, bless me financially. Amen? Pero baka sabihin sa'yo ni, ni God, anak, maging generous ka. May mga kapamilya ka na kailangan ng tulong hindi mo tinutulungan. Hindi ka pa nagbibigay ng tithes and offering mo. mag ka kaya doon. Trust me. Di ba? Yung nanay mo at tatay mo, yung kapatid mo, alam mo yun, may kakayahan ka pero tinatalikuran mo sila. Start there and see how faithful I am to bless you. Minsan ganun eh. No? Kasi minsan inisip natin, Lord, blessing, blessing. Pero gagamitin kasi ni God yung buhay natin para maging blessing. So, those of us who are joining prayer and fasting, part of prayer and fasting is this. Part of fasting is repentance. And we'll talk about that later. Part of fasting. Pag binasa mo sa Bible, most of those who are going through fast are those who are saying, Lord, I have done evil. I'm going to return to you. Ganun siya. Start there. Jesus is the ultimate good. There is a race marked out for you. And when you know the right race, when you're in the right race now, how do you stay the course? How do you finish strong? We'll look at three things that Paul says. He would say, let us, let us. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Simply put, you want to stay the course, you want to finish strong, run with fellow believers. You're not, you cannot do this alone. Paulit-ulit tayo dito. Run with other believers, not run against. Now, in a race, usually kompetensya yan. Isa lang ang, gusto, ang kailangan man natin, isa lang pwedeng maging champion. Pero sa race natin, in our Christian walk, hindi tayo nagkukompete sa isa't isa. Nagtutulungan tayo. We're running with, not running against. Look at the person sitting next to you. Yan. 
Tingnan mo, parang ayaw mo eh. Tingnan mo naman. Yan. Is that the person you want to run with? Yes. If no, there are other persons here. Okay? Ganyan lang eh. Hindi naman tayo magpipilitan dito, di ba? Ay, ayaw mo sa katabi man ang magagawa natin. Hindi kayo magkakilala. Di ba? Pero kung nanliligaw ka ngayon, di ba? Anyway. We are to live in community. Lumalaki na yung victory, di ba? And minsan, hindi na, hindi na, sa totoo lang, hindi natin kilala lahat dito. Ako, hindi ko kayo kilala lahat eh. At eto pa, I can remember your face, but most of the time, I cannot remember your name. Kaya yung pag nag tayo na parang, Uy, Rev, kumusta ka na? Tapos, hmm, okay naman. Ikaw, kumusta? Mga gumagay na gano'n, iniisip pa rin, sino, sino, to, sino, to, sino, to, sino, to. Huwag kayong ma-offend, okay? Pag tinanong ko, ay, ano nga pala ulit ang, pang- ang pangalan mo? Grabe, kaninang five minutes ago lang tayo nagkakilala kayo. <laughs> yes, sorry, I'm bad with names, okay? Many of us here are walking in that community. It's called Victory Group. But I know most of you, you don't like Victory Groups. So let's call it small groups. Okay? It's called small groups. So, m- many of you are walking already with community. Some of you, you need to step out in faith and walk. Some of you, you tried already. Hindi, sinubukan ko na, hindi nag-work out eh. Sa isang Victory Group, hindi nag-work out eh. Eh, di maghanap ka na ibang Victory Group. Hindi naman victory group yung Diyos natin dito eh. Hindi naman set in stone na pag napunta ka sa victory group, ang unang pinuntahan mo, nandun ka na forever, for life na to pare. <laughs> hindi po ganun. Kung hindi nag-work out sa'yo yon, schedule, hindi mo gusto yung mukha ng leader, yung mga ganun, <laughs> dilipat ka dun sa iba, maghanap ka ng iba, di ba? Ito lang ang wag mong hanapin, yung perfect na victory group. Wag mong hanapin yun, wala yun, walang ganun dito. As a matter of fact, kami nga, kami sa victory group namin, hindi po perfect, lalo na yung leader. Ako pa yung leader. <laughs> now, kung naghahanap ka ng perfect na victory group at makita mo yun, huwag kang mag-join dun. Kasi pag nag-join ka, hindi na sila perfect. Okay, so. Pero yun yung sinasabi ni Paul. Sabi niya, run with fellow believers. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness. Faith, love, and peace along with, not alone. Some of us, we do this. We flee. Ayoko na sa kasalanan. But we do it alone. At napapansin natin, dahil alone ka, nababalik ka dun. Nababalik ka. Huwag kang mag-isa. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang mag-isa. Huwag kang mag-isa. There is a race marked out for us. The Bible says, there's a race marked down. And this race is a struggle. All the goals that we have in life, it will, it will, I know, it will entail struggle. May sudyante, grades pa lang struggle na yun, unless of course, sobra kang genius. Pero sa ating mga normal na tao, struggle yan. Bakit? Kailangan mo mag-aral. Kailan mong piliin yung studies kesa sa, sinabi mo kanina, or ikaw, sino ang sabi? Dota. Ngayon, rag na rock na. Mobile na, mga kapatid. Di ba? Pero wag kayong mag-alala, may autoplay yun. Anyway. Anything worth having, you will need any race worth running. There is a struggle. You want to have a good relationship with your husband, with your wife, you need to struggle in it. Not, not the struggle na parang ang hirap, no? But you need to make effort. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Hindi pwedeng uupo ka na lang. Incidentally, in the Christian walk, and I suppose it's also uh, true in any race of life. When you run alone, you can run faster. But you're, when you run with others, you can run farther. It's actually an African proverb. If you want to run fast, run alone. If you want to run far, run together. So run with others. Importante yun. Now that you know you want to please God, get God run with others. If you think you, you can please God by yourself, it can only get you so far. But with others... 
it can sustain you. But not only run with others, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. What are the things that are weighing you down? What are the things that are hindering you? So binasa ko kanina sa ESV, lay aside every weight. Ano nagwi-weigh down sa iyo? Nagihinder sa iyo to run the race that God has prepared for you. To walk the journey, to run the journey of faith. Ano yung nagihinder sa iyo? Minsan, hindi talaga yan mga sinful things. Minsan ano lang yan? Telenovela. Instead na magbasa ka ng Bible, telenovela. Instead na mag mag uh, mag, mag uh, spend time ka with your family, with your ano, telenovela, Korean novela. Minsan Netflix. No? Malalaman mo eh. Pag medyo sumusobra ka na yung natutulog ka tapos medyo maalimpungatan ka tapos sasabihin mo, we are going on a journey. Listen very carefully. Under no circumstances are you going to take off your blindfold. Okay? Yung iba ano yun? Manood ka ng Netflix. Na joke lang. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with this. Ang problema, pag nag-o-over, at alam mo naman kung nag-o-over ka eh. Alam mo yan. Meron akong isang kakilala, sabi niya, grabe yung asawa ko. Alam mo, mapupuyat dahil sa mga, sa TV. Tapos syempre, pag napuyat ka, kinabukasan, pag nagising ka ng maaga, guess what? Grumpy ka. So alam mo yan. Kinakausap ko pa yung sarili ko. Alam mo yan, Rev. Alam mo yan, alam mo yan. Okay? Alam mo yan. Now, may mga pagkakataon na gano'n. Minsan, hindi talaga siya gano'n ka... Hindi siya yung blatant sin. Minsan, ano lang yan? Procrastination. Your favorite hobby when you were a student. Yan. Uh, 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 inaamin ko, isa ako doon. Sino sa inyo, you just love cramming. So, minsan, natatranslate, pati relationship natin kay God, nagkakram tayo. Diba? Uy, Bible na. Thank you. Okay, Lord. Wow! Shucks! Alam mo kung bakit alam ko? Ginagawa ko eh. Tama na, Rev. Tama na. Pero minsan, or should I say, kadalasan, sin issue siya. Sin issue. Minsan akala natin normal na. And dahil normal na, okay lang. No, but we are called to run the race. And if you want to run the race, to finish strong, to stay the course, run without excess baggage. Run without excess baggage. Without excess baggage of pornography, probably. Unforgiveness, pride. Gossip, being judgmental, being unkind, being impatient, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, lying, what else? Greed, comparing, complaining. Run without it. You stay the course, you finish strong. Runners will run light. Wala ka nakitang nagmamarathon o nagsisprint na, alam mo yun, naka-gear na gano'n, may backpack. Bakit? Eh, kasi importante yung laptop. Walang gano'n. Those things will hinder. Those things are not necessarily sin, but they will hinder. Now, there are things in your life that you know hinders you from making God, Jesus, the ultimate good in your life. Hinders your relationship. Hinders how you know Him, how you glorify Him. There are things that you know sin issue na. So, parang ganito lang yan. TJ, may I? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Si PJ po, isa po siya sa mga pinakamasayang lalaki sa buong mundo ngayon. Okay. Dahil nung December 31, tinanong po niya ang kanyang girlfriend, Will you marry me? Aba, naloko niya. And I mean, sumagot ng tama. Sumagot ng tama. Yes, he is now engaged. Okay. So, PJ is one of our campus missionary. Now, in, imagine yourself. Okay, so may, may bato po kasi ito. Eh. May bato. Okay. So, ito si PJ. No? Tatakbo siya, pupunta siyang finish line. So, buhay to buhay. And minsan, actually, mabigat to, no? Pero minsan, akala natin, ay, ano ba naman yan? Sandali lang naman yan, eh. Sandali ko lang naman bit-bit-bitin to, eh. Ang problema, kung pinaglalaroan natin ang kasalanan, darating ang time tayo i-control ng kasalanan, hindi mo na mabitawan. 
So ngayon, nag-aano ka, siguro in the first five minutes, ten minutes, if you're, ah, mga ilang kilos kaya to bro? Absent kasi ako nung, sa mga kilos, kilos, you know? Mabigat siya, okay, mabigat. Siguro mga first ten minutes na tumatakbo ka niyan, okay lang, di ba? Pero, katagalan, it will wear you down. It will weigh you down. It will burden you. Pero hindi lang yan kasing sinasabi ng Bible. Sabi sa Bible, yung sin, hindi lang siya nag weigh down, nag entangle siya. Okay? So, yan. So, ngayon, na entangle ka ng sin. So, hindi ko alam kung makakatakbo ka pa niyan. Bro, makatakbo ka ba? Tingin mo, parang, parang mabigat na. May... So, guys, the Bible says there is no peace in wickedness. There is no peace for the wicked. Huwag na nating paglaruan ang kasalanan. That is not for us. That is not the race marked out for us. That is not the race marked out for us. Tanggalin mo yan. The Bible says, the sin that entangles, tapon mo yan. The things that burden you, that weigh you down, man, resentment, no? tapon mo yan. Okay? Pag nabutas, may insurance ba to? Ano pa dito? Yan, mga unconfessed sin, tapon mo yan, di ba? Tapon mo. Yan, tapon mo yan. I, ano mo yan? Ano pa ito mga nandito? Naku, eto. Unforgiveness. Di ba? Ang problema sa unforgiveness, ginawa mo na nga, maya-maya, di ba nag-forgive ka na nga eh. Bakit ganun ano? Yung mga taong fino-forgive mo, bakit kailang ulitin nila? Minsan babalik. So ngayon, sabi, that's not for you. That's not why you were called the unforgiveness. Ang dami po dito, siguro may mga isang daan dito. <laughs> Hindi naman. But I, I think you got the picture. Thank you. Uh, unless gusto mo. Okay na, okay na, bro. Okay na. Uh, pwede mo nang... Yes. Akala ko gusto mo. Thank you. Throw it away. Ito lang. It's hard to throw it by yourself. Most of the time, you will need the help of others. Kaya nga, let us. Let us. Let us. Kaya ganun. Throw it away. Leave the excess baggage. Not only that, run with perseverance. You want to stay the course? Don't quit. Don't quit. Tell the person sitting next to you, don't quit. Kaya tulog pa rin hanggang ngayon. Not quitting eh. 2004, may isang lalaki Binatilyo sa Iligan City. Okay? Jeepney driver. Nag-aayos ng, ng makina ng jeep niya. Sa tabi siya. Ang problema, mayroon din isang driver na nakainom at nagda-drive. So yung driver na yon nalaseng, nabangga siya. Nandito lang siya sa gilid. Nabangga siya. Naputol yung paan niya. 2004. Okay. Nung naputol yung paa niya, syempre, nag-recover siya. Pero after recovering, jeepney driver siya. They come, they, they come from a, he comes from a poor family. He's uh, five pang lima yata siya sa uh, magkakapatid. And nawalan siya ng gana sa buhay. Na-depress siya. Gusto niyang i-end yung buhay niya. Gusto niyang magpakamatay. So, nag-try siyang mag -las. Ang sabi niya, hindi natuloy kasi masakit. True story to. Okay. True story. I kid you not. Interview. Nasa interview to. Tapos, nag-try din siya magdikti. Nung nagdikti na siya, tinuloy niya. Naputol naman yung kahoy na pinag niya. Again, alam ko parang kwentong barbero, pero true story. So ngayon, inisip niya, pasagasa siya sa bus. Now, hindi ko alam kung paano niya gagawin yun kasi putol yung ano niya. So, I, I don't know. Okay? Pero papunta na siya, rumaraga, yan, kita niyo yung bus, natakot naman siya ngayon. Malaki yung bus. Pumili siya ng pick up. Pick up, uh, you know, yung pick up thingy. So ngayon, may pick up, gumit na siya, buti nakahinto yung pick up. Bumaba yung driver ng pick up, kinausap siya. Pusta magpakamatay, kinuwento ng buhay niya. 
Sabi nung driver, alam mo, swimming coach ako. Try mo kaya mag-swim. Para at least meron kang magawa, di ba? Tapos sabi niya, since sinabi rin ng doktor niya dati na part of his rehabilitation, dapat siyang mag-swim, tinray niya. Tinrain siya ngayon ng coach na to, to be a swimmer. 2004 yun. 2013, nananalo na siya ng gold medal sa Paralympics ASEAN. His name is Arnel Abba. As a matter of fact, isa sa mga gusto niyang gawin, maging part ng triathlon. Pero hindi pa niya kayang mag-isa. So kumuha siya ng mga kakilala niya rin. So ang nag-bike is someone who has club feet. Ang tumakbo is someone who has one arm. Siya sa swimming. At nung nang time na ng swimming, nung umalis na siya sa tubig, na picturean to. 2013, I think, or 2012. Na picturean to, lumalabas siya sa tubig, nakasabay niya are mga top triathletes. So nagulat sila na nakaka-compete siya sa mga top tri- triathletes. Why am I saying this? Because there are so many things in our lives to tell us, mag-quit ka na. But please don't do it. Please don't quit. Because the only way for you to lose in this walk, this race, this journey is if you quit. There will be times because of relationships, sasabihin sa'yo, mag-quit ka na. Muntik na ako dyan. Iniwan ako ng girlfriend ko dati. Gusto ko nang mag-quit. But you know what? God has better plans. Nakilala ko si, hmm. Okay. <laughs> And then, alam niyo na, si Arnel, putol yung pa- mag-quit ka na. Gusto na nga niya eh. But God had other plans for him. So buhay niyo, maybe health mo. Something to do with your health. Sabihin sa'yo, mag-quit ka na. Maniwala ka pa dyan sa Diyos na yan. Mag-quit ka na. But please don't. Nothing is impossible with God. God has a good plan. A plan to prosper you and not to harm you plan to give you a hope and a future. Minsan business, minsan career, mag-quit ka na. Please, do not quit. Don't quit on your marriage, don't quit on your kids, don't quit living a life of purity and holiness. Kahit sabi ng iba, ha? Huh? Virgin ka pa? Ano ba yan? Don't quit. Don't quit forgiving. Kahit ang tigas ng ulo ng fino forgive mo, don't quit forgiving. Don't quit being excellent. Tama na yung pag-uwi ng paperclip. Ikaw naman ang magdigay ng paperclip sa... <laughs> diba? Don't quit knowing God. Don't quit honoring God. Don't quit being a disciple. Don't quit glorifying God. Don't quit the race. Next week, we are going to start a series about great faith. We're going to look at stories of people in the Bible who could have said, Tama na! Quit na ako. But because they persevered, they grew in maturity and faith. Sabi nga ni Paul, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. This race of faith, you need to fight for it. You need to fight for it. It's not going to be effortless, I tell you. You're going to have to exert effort. Kailang ipaglaban mo to pero ang maganda dyan, kung may kasama kang nakikipaglaban sa'yo kasama mo. Hindi nakipaglaban. Nakipaglab, you know what I mean. Okay? Somebody who's hand in, you, you know, running the race with you. Fight for it. Fight for your marriage. Fight to avoid sin. Hindi po madali yun. Yung sinasabi ko kanina, throw off, hindi madali yun. Kaya kailangan mo others with you. Others. Let the ultimate good in your life, let the ultimate goal, the ultimate ambition be Christ. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Why? Because He finished the race. He endured the cross for you and me. When you fix your eyes on Jesus, you begin to be on the right race. When you fix your eyes on Jesus, you receive the grace. You begin to appreciate the grace that He has given you to stay the course and finish strong. When you fix your eyes on Jesus, life is not going to be about you. That's why you will not have any problem asking others for help. 
tama na yung pagmamayabang na ang galing natin. Kailangan natin ng tulong. So as we end this preaching, as we look forward to next week, great faith. Wow. Three things that I want to leave with you. Three questions that I hope you answer and I hope you do something about it. What habits do you need to change? Maring simpleng games yan. Simpleng sobrang TV. Maaring lulung ka na sa pornography. Kailang palitan mo na. Kailang palitan mo. You cannot remove it. You can change it. When you remove a bad habit, if you don't change it, babalik ka lang doon. Maaring inuman galor. Maaring nagbuo ka na ng fraternity sa community mo, subdivision mo, the Sukaru. Grabe kayong uminom. Maaring hitit lang ng hitit kung ano man yan. What habits do you need to change? What sinful areas do you need to turn away from? You need help here. I tell you. You need help. For me to turn away from my sinful habits, the sinful areas, I needed help. Who are the people helping you in this run of faith? Three questions that I hope you will answer. I hope you will do something about it. Why don't we all stand? Lord, we thank you. Nothing is impossible with you. Salamat, Panginoon, that we are in this amazing race of faith. And it's a race full of joy, challenges, yes, but it's full of victory as well. Panginoon, hiniling po namin na sa mga pagkakataong ito, meron po kaming mga bagay na ginagawa sa buhay na alam namin it does not please you. God, let there be repentance. Iba sa amin, akala namin okay lang dahil normal na. Lord, show us that we are in the wrong race. Lord, we declare today that we repent from sin. Iba sa amin, maaring pornography yan, maaring lying, maaring panggagancho, Lord. But God, we just surrender it to you. Maybe as a husband, we're not treating our wives right. We surrender it to you. Maybe as a wife, we don't respect our husbands. We surrender it to you. Maybe as as kids, we don't honor our parents. We surrender it, Lord God. We repent from it. Lord, maybe as businessmen, we we don't have integrity in, in finances. Lord, we repent. But as we repent also, Lord, we are... We are excited to receive from you the blessing of peace, of joy, and hope, the blessing of success, the blessing of provision, the blessing of healing. Lord, we pray for every sickness. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus. And we ask, Lord, that we will be strong and courageous. Hallelujah. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. What counts is the courage to continue. And may we continue in faith. Let Jesus be the ultimate good in our lives, the ultimate prize. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.